there, Kelly here from The Beagle Lady and today we're going to talk about resource guarding, something that I know a lot of you are struggling with. Um, so I'm going to uh, let you know what it is, why your dog does it and how you can help yourself with it. So resource guarding is very normal to a dog, very, very normal. So they will rate certain resources in um, priority, high priority, low priority. Um, if it's high, obviously, that's when they go a little bit crazy. Um, and low priority, it doesn't really bother them as much. So they will resource guard basically anything. Uh, food, beds, toys, um, places that they walk, and also humans, which isn't ideal um, and is something that I will discuss in another video. Resource guarding is something that uh, people used to feel was a dominance thing. So if uh, a dog wasn't, wouldn't listen to you when you were trying to take something away from it, then they felt that the dog was trying to be dominant over you. That's not the case. The, the reason why your dog is doing this is because it's, it is a high resource for this dog. So for example, my Daisy, she will um, just get into her bed, she will sleep, and then if another dog comes near her, she will literally launch herself out of her bed to tell that dog to go away because that is her resource she doesn't want to be disturbed she doesn't want anybody um, else having that particular bed but for a beagle even though she's very food obsessed if i put a bowl of food down she another dog comes along she'll move out of the way because although she likes her food she's not actually uh, has that has isn't high in her resource garden so resource guarding, um, in particular when dogs obviously steal things, you know, when you're trying to get stuff off of them, um, uh, when they decide that they want to, they, they're, they're going to resource guard a part of the sofa maybe, or bed or something like that, we need to be able to deal with it. And we need to be able to deal with it without being bitten. So for instance, Billy, my new dog, he um, would growl at us or snarl actually, it was quite, quite, um, was quite uh, what's the word uh, a little bit um fear I was a little bit fearful to be honest because he was snarling at me um, so we obviously couldn't move him because if we tried to go anywhere near his head he was likely to bite us so we had to put a lead on him so we got an old lead we cut the loop off so that it doesn't get stuck on anything um, in the evenings because this is when he was particularly resource guarding that particular area of the sofa we would keep uh, the lead on him so he would drag it around all over the place and then when it came to getting him off the sofa we didn't have to go anywhere near his mouth so we could pull him gently off by the lead and at the same time we would give him the command off Billy and he would get off no growling no snarling um, we've been doing that now for about four weeks and we now can get him to get off uh, without having to use the lead and he will get off of his own accord because he's learned that actually nothing bad is going to happen to him we just need him to get off the sofa swap him swapping things so if your dog steals something that you don't want it to have you are not bribing your dog you are swapping it usually for a treat now again billy was billy had this problem so he would steal blankets and tea towels and socks and all sorts so we would swap it so he would drop it i would put my foot on it and then i would give him the treat and pick up, pick it up and I would be saying to him at the same time, no, Billy, this is not yours, this is yours, give him the treat. So what we're doing there is we're reprogramming his brain that leave it or whatever command you want to use, so no, or, you know, that's mine, give it back to me. He's learning that's a positive thing, that's a positive command, because while we're treating him, he's like, oh, this is actually a positive thing, I'll, I'll drop it. Eventually, you won't need to use the treats because it's so ingrained in his psyche that he should drop uh, whatever he is uh, has in his mouth he will just do it automatically and you'll be able to pick it up. This is what's happened with Billy, who you can't see, he's just down there. Um, so Billy now, when you say to him, drop it, or that's not yours, Billy, he will drop it and walk away. And that's taken us again, about four, about, yeah, four, four and a half weeks to get to that point. So we haven't had to swap now for, I would say, what's it, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, about four days now, we haven't had to swap, he's dropping it. So don't think it's bribery. You are um, retraining your dog's brain. That's what you're doing. So you're, you're associating a word as a positive thing by giving them the treat. Eventually you won't have to give them the treat. Um, so don't ever try to get anything out of your dog's mouth. 
I mean, I can with my daisy, and I'm sure there's some of you out there that can do that with your beagles. But if you have a beagle that is growling at you or snarling at you because it has something in its mouth, do not put your fingers in there. You will get bitten. It's a, a given, basically. Um, if they have food that you don't want them to have, it's going to be harder to swap because beagles love their food. So if they've already got food, why would they want this bit of food? And this bit might actually be better than this bit anyway. If it's not going to kill them, just let them have it. Um, it it's going to stop you guys having problems. It's going to stop you getting bitten. Um, if it is something they shouldn't have, eating wise, I still I don't advise you to put your hands in their mouth. Um, deal with the situation afterwards. You know, call your vet, speak to them. You know, um, Obviously dogs are not allowed chocolate. Um, they're not allowed grapes. But in small pieces you don't need to need to go to the vets but you would still need to call them so resource guarding is normal okay your dog is not being disobedient your dog is not being dominant over you basically it is a, a primal thing in their brain now everything that they do so when they growl at another dog to say back off body that's my bed or back off that's my toy that dog goes away it does it, just, it goes away if it's a well socialized dog it will go away and it will leave that dog because it's understanding that that dog sees that as an important part of their resource when we try to do the same thing and a dog growls at us we react really differently and that's where things are going wrong instead of backing away and coming up with a, a calmer approach and an approach that will mean that your dog does not get stressed and you do not get bitten we are going in and going no I'm not having this off my sofa or give me that and then mm, getting bitten um your dog is still loves you your dog is not trying to overpower you in any way by growling or snarling at you it does this with dogs and it works for them it is a universal language that they use with each other so they are now using it with us but we see it differently we see it as aggression we see it as a negative it's not a negative thing you've just got to learn how to deal with that so if it is a matter of um, you can't get your dog to move because they snarl or, or snap at you pop a lead on them and just use that to take them off the sofa if it is something that they've got in their mouths they're not supposed to have swap it if for instance they go under the bed and you can't get them out don't put your hand in there they're going to bite you if they're fearful anyway they're going to bite you either leave them or entice them out you know the, this whole philosophy of dominance and this is my space that's your space it's all been debunked and also by the person who came up with the theory in the first place so your dog is not trying to be dominant over you it's all behavior it's all about what they do with their own kind that we just don't understand hope that's helped and um, if you need any more help please put some comments down below and i'll reply to them and um, reply to them as soon as i can thank you